Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging exponential equation problem and we have to find out all possible real values of x. So let's get started. By writing one point x belongs to real number. So I will write one power x will be one always. Point number two 30 power x this value will be always positive. It cannot be 0. How many times it is? 4 times. So I will write 4 times 30 power x and then I will cross multiply. So I will write our equation as 1 plus 16 power x plus 81 power x plus 625 power x equal to 4 times 30 power x. Now I will use exponents. 16 we can think about it is 2 power 4. So 2 power 4 whole power x. 81 we can think about 3 power 4 it is. x. 625 we can write 5 power 4 it is. And right hand side we will factorize 30 as 2 times 3 times. So 6 times 5 whole power is x. Now I will use one exponent property which states that a power b whole power c we can write this equal to a power c whole power b swapping in the exponents. So our equation here I will swap our powers 4 and x 4 and x 4 and x. So let's do it. 1 plus 2 power x whole power 4 then 3 power x whole power 4 5 power x whole power 4 equal to 4 times now I will split 2 power x times 3 power x times 5 power x now I will use substitution so let us consider 2 power x equal to a 3 power x equal to b 5 power x equal to c let's apply so i will write 1 plus a power 4 plus b power 4 plus c power 4 equal to 4 times it is abc so this is one equation for which we have to find out the value of x. How it would be? Let me demonstrate. I will write this equation as a power 4 plus b power 4 plus c power 4 plus 1 equal to 4 times a b c. Now I will use one manipulation step. I will write this as a power 4 plus b power 4 we can think about a power 4 plus b power 4 then minus 2a square b square if we will take away then we have to add 2a square b square. Now you can see these three terms will provide us one perfect square which is a square minus b square whole square. Now what is left 2a square b square now I will write our c power 4 plus 1 term. Okay, now if you will see right hand side 4abc, so that term will be also in the LHS equal to 0. Now I will consider this term, this term altogether. But after that what is left, this is c power 4 plus 1. So if I will do one manipulation, if I will consider minus c square or better is to write minus 2c square then this combination will give us again one whole square that is c square minus one whole square. So this minus 2c square I have to compensate. So I will write plus 2c square also. So picture is clear. It is a square minus b square whole square. First perfect square. Second perfect square is c square minus one whole square. 
and after that three terms are left where two is common so once i will take two common in bracket it would be this term this term and this term so i will write a square b square minus 2 abc and then in bracket c square and right hand side is zero now you can see this third bracket is also one perfect square so let me write a square minus b square whole square plus c square minus 1 whole square and last bracket i will write two times ab minus c whole square it is and right hand side is zero sum of three squares equal to zero its meaning is very simple individual bracket must be zero this bracket must be zero this bracket must be zero once i will consider a square minus b square equal to zero second equation c square minus 1 equal to 0 third equation ab minus c equal to 0 so let us solve i will write a square minus b square equal to 0 second equation is ab minus c equal to 0 and third bracket which will make our equation 0 c square minus 1 equal to 0 now from third equation if i will solve i will be writing this equation as c square is equal to 1 taking square root both sides c will be equal to plus minus 1 now what was c c was our substitution 2 par x was a 3 par x was b and 5 par x was c so c cannot be negative c is always positive a is always positive b is always positive as they are exponential functions so i will exempt this minus sign so minus will be rejected so c equal to 1 we will accept and once you will write c equal to 1 its meaning is 5 power x equal to 1 and this further we can write it is 5 power 0 so bases are same we will compare exponents so the conclusion is x must be equal to 0 let's verify the remaining two equations also so i will write a square minus b square equal to 0 ab minus c equal to 0 a square minus b square equal to 0 conclusion is a square equal to b square or a equal to plus minus b so i will write a equal to b minus is not possible so i will write the value of a a was 2 par x so i will be writing 2 par x equal to 3 par x so this equation will hold true only once x will be zero so this is our confirmation solution now third equation which i will consider that was ab minus c equal to zero so let me write here ab minus c equal to 0 now let us put the value of ab so a was 2 par x b was 3 par x equal to c c was 5 par x so exponent is same i will write 2 times 3 so let me write 6 par x is equal to 5 par x now this equation will hold true once x equal to 0 so again we have confirmation x equal to 0 it is satisfying all the three set of equations so our final solution becomes x equal to 0 let's verify verification is very simple i will put x equal to 0 i will get my numerator 1 par 0 1 16 par 0 1 81 par 0 1 625 par 0 1 divided by 30 par 0 1 1 1 1 so it is 4 over 4 which is 1 which is rhs so this is confirmation of solution that is x equal to 0 i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching this video thank you friends bye bye till next video good luck and do not forget to like share subscribe